Hello guys, welcome to my review of Windows 8 customer preview. Now you've seen my previous video, I don't think I got that many views on it, but hopefully they get better with this video. This video is going to be a lot more smoother. If you saw it was laggy before, I'm thinking it's my computer, and it's not. Um, it was just the developer's preview, so they fixed that, and this one runs a lot more smoother. So, let's uh, actually get this started. You can pull this up like a garage door, so you can just let it go, and there you go. I had to log in. Oh, I'm sorry, that information was wrong. Let's try this again. My caps might have been on. There we go. As you see, you're introduced to your Metro interface. That's what Microsoft's calling it. Without further ado, let's uh, take a tour of Windows 8. Here's the store. I probably did this in my first video, but I didn't go in depth. They have uh, some apps in there already, so you know they're, Microsoft is working on something. And um, I was always thinking about, because this is what everybody thinks about Windows 7, did they fix the blue screen problem? Is there going to be a blue screen in Windows 8? Because I see they kind of dressed up Windows um, excuse me, Windows 8, and uh, I know Windows 8 is a little bit less in memory when you, put, when you install it. They say they recommend 20 gigabytes, but I think that's just overhead and all that. But yeah, um, a lot of free apps on here, believe it or not. Lot, lots of free apps. So, uh, yep, yeah, let's just click on, uh, oh boy, top free. And it loads, and my network's taking forever. Not gonna wait for it. I, you know, I gotta keep this video kind of short. But yeah, that's kind of what the store looks like. That's how you get apps on your t Windows 8 based tablet if you're using a full fledged PC. I guess you can just use the you know, go to Internet Explorer and download Google Chrome, then go download some other applications. Because I wouldn't use Google, I wouldn't use um, Internet Explorer. Okay, let's go to Xbox Live. Xbox Live, click. Oh, it's double click. Oh boy, what am I thinking? Now this will uh, allow you to connect to your Xbox Live interface. Uh, as if you were on Xbox. Now, some games are cross-platform, like this one, Paintball FX. I mean, Pinball FX 2. Hmm. What was the first one? Okay. So, uh, yeah, you see these are all the games I played. So, it's like viewing the Xbox, the new dashboard that's for the Xbox. This is like looking at it. My friends. Achievements. You can just scroll over with your mouse, or you can just pull it over, I think. Or, no, you got to use this bar down here. But, uh, yeah. That's the Xbox Live app. Nothing really special, just like the Xbox. You press your Windows key to go back to your main screen. And one thing I want to point out, if you guys are looking for the desktop, double click. You can always use the desktop. You just don't have a start, a start bar, a start, you know, start menu. So, uh, I said I was going to go through all this, but I'm not. Uh, now, your Xbox Companion, I think this is what this is. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is to actually, uh, so you can sync your computer with your Xbox. So you can control your, your Xbox from your computer, which is really cool. But I'm not going to set it up on the screen here. And let's bring up Internet Explorer for the hell of it, so you guys can see. Internet Explorer. Now it loads pretty quick, right? I was on this website, and I like the fact... Well, actually, no, all the Internet browsers do that. If you leave... Uh, you know, leave a website up, it'll pick up where you left off. But, believe it or not, I'm running this virtual, and it loaded faster than the one in Windows 7. So maybe they sped it up. That doesn't, that won't stop me from using Google Chrome. Uh, yeah, so video, video. Not really going over a full overview with these, uh, apps, but, and I guess this is video you can download, so this is like a, a store. Where you can down and it looks just like the Xbox, so they're really getting that integration between all your devices. So uh, I hope you know Microsoft is on something. So let's just click on something to see how it looks. And I love how my, how they did it with Windows 7. Look at all this real estate it takes up, big large pictures. And this is a new movie he's coming out with, huh? It's probably good because George Clooney plays really really good movies. I mean, really good. Watch the uh, Up in the Air. Sounds like a boring movie, but it's like a really good movie. But here we go. Uh, you can buy or rent the movie. Oh, this is an old movie. It says buy or rent. Hmm. Never heard of it though. 
and uh, it takes up a lot of real estate. Shows the big uh, movie poster, and you can play on your Xbox because this is kind of uh, for the Xbox anyway. So we just go back to our main screen. That's kind of what the videos are like. And as you start accessing apps, things will show up like here. Before it just says weather on your screen, but once you uh, type in your location and all that, um, um, it'll, you know show up in the little tile. So this is what it uh, looks like. Pretty nice. Not static. It looks really, really nice. Nice graphical interface. Feels like 50. AccuWeather. <laughs> so yeah. Really, really, really nice. And if it's cloudy, it shows you here. If it's raining, it shows you there. It's pretty cool. Calendar. No biggie about the calendar. Just, you know, it's a calendar. Let me see. Yep, and you can mark your days on there by double clicking on it. Then when you're done, you just hit save. And uh, photos. I have one photo on here, I think. Oh, here we go. Oh, I don't have that. And see, I mean, it really takes up, it really actually takes advantage of your screen. So whatever size screen you have or tablet, it's really going to take advantage of that. So I know NVIDIA is going to be really going to be uh, really be making uh, some changes on their Tegra, Tegra line of um, GPU or, or APUs or whatever they are. But you can use your SkyDrive photos, your Facebook photos, Flickr photos. Pretty cool. Alright, uh, people, I don't know what that is, so I'm not going to click on it because it might connect to my account. Uh, and then again, another warning for you guys who's you know experimenting with Windows 8. Windows 8, don't log into any of your emails because we don't know if Windows 8 is one of those uh, uh, virus-free operating systems. So uh, I, you know, I like Windows, but you know you still can't trust it. I like my Windows 7 with my Norton and all that on it. So just don't access any private information. Don't even dare access your bank account information. Um, so hey, let's check out SkyDrive. Michael SkyDrive. Oh wow. I guess as soon as you sign up for it, uh, sign up for your, put your name and, you know, when you log in for Windows 8, you automatically get SkyDrive. Now, this is putting your information on the cloud, so when you have a Windows 8 phone, Windows 8 tablet, or whatever Windows 8 device you have, you can access it, because it's on the cloud. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. What else should we go? Oh! This game right here, this is a popular game that, uh, they're, or that they're going to try to make popular for Windows 7. It's like Angry Birds when it first came out. I got, uh, probably farther than some people. Skip past this part. And I've only got, oops, should take me back to where I was. Yep, pretty cool, huh? Uh, go back. There's music playing in the background, so I'm not even going to blast it here. You know what? Yes, I am. I'm going to turn it off real quick here. Yeah, that's Family Jewels. Uh, he's a YouTuber, and he's got a great album. Um, Where's my Windows 7? Windows 8. Okay, let's go back to the game. I know this review is kind of bland, but... <laughs> Yeah, let's just play this level for the hell of it. Okay, what did I do last time? This is one of the harder levels. Okay, you gotta have your timing straight on this one. Oh, oh. Okay, let's try it one more time. Oh crap. Yep, your time has got to be, <laughs> got to be tight. I finally got this one unlocked. Ha <laughs> ha. 
I'm not really good at this here. Okay, now. How do I get it to this guy here? Oh, wow. That was a lucky shot. But as you see, it's a pretty cool game. And it's one of those built-in games that Windows uh, 7 has. Um, they even have a music library. And this is where you can go to buy and listen to music. Now, um, I don't know what's going to replace Windows Media Player. So when you store music on here, because I don't have any music on here, because I'm not going to, um, you know, do that. Uh, you know, I don't know what player or what, you know, program is going to be used to play that audio. So I was listening to some music, but, uh, just to show you what it'll look like. Oh, I'm sorry, my Camtasia thing is up. And, uh, I don't know who this guy is, but you can see all the albums in large files. It kind of looks like, uh, Media Center, in a way. So, pretty cool, brings up all of the albums. You can even double click on one and buy it and listen to a trial if you want okay so I gotta go all, way, all, all the way back here we go you can just listen to one if you want but I'm not gonna do that don't uh, break any copyright here and uh, Windows Explorer to take you straight to your desktop uh, and bring up Windows Explorer as if you're on Windows 7 but really no difference from there what else should I go through before I end this video oh let's go over your settings what does your control panel look like well if I can get to that your settings, your settings, your settings, your settings. Where are they? This used to be over here. I think I moved something around. Well, let's just try. Uh, let me see. Wow, I don't know where the settings are. This is what happens when they get rid of the start menu. Well, I guess I'll end it here. Oh, let's check out the stock. The stock. I'm sorry my video is not as good as uh, Soldier's Know His Best. I know he did his research before going over all the stuff. I did too. I just can't seem to present it. Like, when he goes over his, went over his Windows 7 video, it's like he knew everything about the operating system. Me, look, I frankly don't care because I love Windows 7. <laughs> so, yeah. This is Windows 8, guys. Windows 8 in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is um, a 4x3 resolution because 16x9, just to show you. It just didn't show up right on my screen because uh, the virtual box wouldn't show all of that real estate properly. Uh, how do I do this? Screen resolution. And then you crank it all the way up to 1600 by 1200. I think mine is 1600 by 900. Um, and not 1200. That's probably why it wouldn't show properly. Keep changes. But as you see, you can't even see the bottom. You know, you can't see the bottom. Then you go home. I mean, you can't see the bottom. I mean, you can't even scroll because you got all that resolution. So it's kind of, uh, kind of sucks. So that's the reason why I didn't do it in a full resolution. And you're only getting, uh, you know, half of it since I have the screen in a uh, lower, you know, the capture program in a lower res. But that's it guys, if you liked the video, please uh, click like, and if you want to comment, positive comments only. And uh, if you have any questions about this operating system, how do you get it, go to the Microsoft website. Um, and I'm not sure if this is legal or not, so don't hit me, don't kill me, but go to the torrents so it's faster. Now this is a beta, so there's really nothing illegal about, as far as I know, about sharing this program. Now correct me if I'm wrong, you can get off the torrents, it's much more faster. Uh, now, if that's wrong, you know what? You know, I'll, I'll, I'll mark it up in my, you know, in, in this video, put an annotation in there later. But you know, it's a beta. It's a beta program, and it's not, it's not a full, uh, a full operating system. It's not a, steady, a stable operating system. So, uh, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for any, any of my upcoming unboxings and videos, uh, and uh, I will catch you guys next time. It's like, this thing fucking...